comfortable seated position. Take a few deep breaths. Come lying onto your back. Trust yourself, get comfortable. Really settle in. We'll start with rolling our ankles. Just go one direction. Rolling your ankles in and reverse direction. Like making circles with your feet. Really gentle, really easy. And come to stillness and begin heel rocking. A gentle point and flex of your feet. And then make this motion a little bit more rapid so your entire body rocks. This gentle rocking action is very soothing. Great for the body, stilling the mind, awakening and calming. Heel rocking. This might take a little bit of practice, but eventually you'll get it. Gentle point and a flex. Now roll your head to one side and to the other opening up your neck and head. And go back and forth, pause on one side, pause on the other. Move fast, move slow with your head. It's up to you. There's no wrong way of doing these movements. Really allow yourself to drop in and come to stillness. Feel the waves of energy move through your body. Bring your awareness to your left leg. Internally rotate and externally rotate your foot. The action originates from your hip. Internal, external rotation. Internal, external rotation. It's a great way to begin to open up the hips, lubricate the joints. Now track your left leg up and down. External rotation, track your left leg up and down. Independent body segmentation. External rotation up and down. Try and allow for your leg to be as heavy as it is. And come to stillness the next time your leg is up. A fallen tree position. Enjoy the opening in the groin. And now push your foot flat as your knee comes up. Flop open and straighten. Up and down. Leg is straight, up, foot flat, knee toward the ceiling. And then flop back open and straighten your leg. Do this a few times. Leg straight, track it up, foot flat, knee toward the ceiling. Flop open and back down. Really beautiful movement to lubricate your hip joint. Activating all the tiny muscles in your hip. Now, next time your foot comes flat, push into your foot and lift your butt off the ground. Push into your foot, roll onto your right side and release. Push, pause and release. Hip thumping. Try and have your knee track out over your foot so you're not crossing over your body here. Really opening up your hips and your pelvis. And release, flop your knee down and straighten your leg. Make some gentle readjustments. And now opposite side, right leg. Internal rotation and external rotation. Internal and external. Very gentle, very beautiful movements. Just lubricating the hip, activating a bit here. And track your right leg up and down. Same as on the other side, up and down. Try and allow for your legs to be as heavy as they are. Track it up and down.
up and down. Beautiful. Come up and down. And up. Come to stillness in this fallen tree position, open groin. Be here for just a moment. Now take your foot flat, knee toward the ceiling, flop the leg open and straighten. Track it up, foot flat, flop open and straighten. Foot flat, flop open and extend your leg. Take your leg up, take the foot flat and straighten. Up, foot flat, flop your knee open and down. Up and down. Beautiful, simple actions. Track your leg up, foot flat, and pause here. Push into your right foot to roll your right buttock off the ground and flop. Push into the foot and release the hip. Hip thumping. Do a few of these, really allow your body to release into gravity when you thump your hip back down. Push into the foot, roll onto your left side, and release. And again, try and have your knee point out over your foot. Flop open, straighten your legs. Enjoy the sensations in your body. Back to the left side, foot flat, and the right. So both feet are flat. And begin rocking, pushing your feet forward and back, similar to heel rocking this time with our feet flat. Push forward and back. Roll your head to one side and the other. So loosen up a little bit here. Gentle rocking. Keep your feet push down and forward and back. Creates a gentle engagement in the hamstrings. Now come to stillness. Start rocking your pelvis up and down or north to south, up and down. Create an arch in the lower back and then around. Pelvic rocking north to south or up and down. Arch of the low back and then around Really simple, really beautiful action. North to south or up to down. And now go left to right or east to west. The bowl of your pelvis rocks left to right or east to west. Left to right. Right to left. Just go side to side. This is called pelvic compass. Again, loosening up the hip structure, these gentle movements. Now gentle circles with the pelvis. Go in one direction. So make a nice beautiful circle. Move in one direction and reverse direction. It's beautiful for releasing tension in the low back, and continuing to open up the hip joint wonderful for back pain, hip mobility, and come to stillness, readjust a bit, push into your feet, down into your shoulders and your head, lift your buttocks off the ground, bridge pose, be here for a moment, breathe, and gentle shaking with your pelvis off the ground, gentle shaking, up and down, and slowly work yourself back to the ground, come to stillness, push into your feet, shoulders, head to lift your buttocks off the ground, bridge pose, and take your waist left to right side to side as if it's one of those old-fashioned typewriters 
side to side. Your pelvis remains parallel to the ground. Just go side to side. Keep pushing down through your feet and shoulders and head. Now gently lower down. Readjust, get comfortable. And again, bridge pose by pushing into your feet. Reach your left arm over the right side of your body and tap. And now your right arm. These are bridge reaches. Reach and tap. Gentle spinal twist here. Your buttocks is off the ground. Go side to side. If you can't make it all the way over, you can just do a modified version of this. You don't have to go all the way up. You can just reach gently over to the left or to the right. The idea is to create a revolution or a gentle twist in your spine. And lower down. Come to stillness. Make any adjustments you need. And lift your feet off the ground and come to happy baby. You can take your hands to your feet. Just gently rock side to side. Rock side to side. You can grab your toes or your ankles, shins or knees if you can't grab your feet. Whatever works for you in this position. Gently rock all the way over to the left and all the way to the right. All the way to the left and all the way to the right. Start to play with your legs a bit here. Straighten them. Get a little bit creative. Extend both legs. Open them up. Roll. Extend your bottom leg and bend your top. However the motion wants to move you. Gentle action. And now bring your hands to the top of your knees, roll all the way onto your left side and all the way onto your right side. Roll all the way onto your left and all the way onto your right. Allow for your head to roll. Just go side to side with your hands on your knees. Beautiful actions here. Roll side to side. Pause on your right, use your left hand to push you up to seated. Take your feet out in front of you with your hands behind. Sit here for a moment and begin to look around. Take inventory, notice your surrounding. Move your gaze around the room. Just notice what you notice. This allows our nervous system to calibrate to our surroundings. Also begins to articulate the head and the neck. And now, pinwheel. Drop one knee in and to the other. Pinwheel position, go side to side. Knee touches in and reverse. Side to side. and pause with your left knee down in the middle and begin gently tapping your knee and go forward and back here forward and back find tiny movements just to change the direction of the stretch now come to pause and take your left hand to your left hip and twist look over your back shoulder and release up and twist and release sink into gravity gentle twist here look over your back shoulder and release beautiful hip and spinal opener Move up and release your hip up and look over your back shoulder and release Now roll your hip up and look over your left shoulder. It's a contralateral action. 
So the hip that's moving up, your head looks over that shoulder, and then as your hip goes down, you look over your opposite shoulder. This is a cross-patterning action, like the helix of our DNA. It's going to help improve coordination and mobility, send signals to the body that our head and hips can move in opposite directions. And now release the position and go side to side, windshield wiper, in and out of this pinwheel. If you're comfortable, take your hands off the ground to look mom no hands. And pause on the opposite side with your right knee in the middle, this pinwheel position, and begin tapping your right knee. Gentle tapping. This helps to release any tension, any residual gripping in your hips. Really simple, really beautiful. Come to stillness. Take your right hand and place it on your hip and twist. Hip up and down. Up, look over your back shoulder and release, sink into gravity. On and off. Giving and receiving. Beautiful, up and a twist and release. Look over your back shoulder and release the hip. Roll your hip up and now look over that right shoulder and as your hip rolls down, look over your back shoulder. Here we are with that cross pattern, that contralateral action. Hip up, look over your front and as the hip goes down, look over your back shoulder beautiful actions. These don't have to be very big. Allow your body to unwind itself. Over time, you'll find more mobility in your spine. Now place your hands back. And again, windshield wiper side to side. Side to side. You can take your hands off the ground. Or look mom, no hands. Bring in a little bit of a spinal twist here if you care for. It's up to you. And now legs out wide and straight, hands behind you, settle in here. And gently rock with your torso side to side as you slowly lean forward. Again, you don't have to go very far in these positions. Just allow your body to stretch itself. Sink in, feel a nice gentle stretch in your hamstrings. Keep your feet flexed and your quadriceps gently engaged and breathe. Allow for your body to stretch itself. Inhale, come up. Torso up. Crisscross your legs. Roll over gently. And come to all fours. Now with your knees bent, sit on your heels. Gentle rock position here. I'm going to be here for just a moment. If this is challenging for you, you can put a cushion under your butt to elevate, to decrease the angle in your knees. Otherwise, be here. Now roll onto the balls of your feet in a seiza position. It's a beautiful way to stretch your feet out might be a bit intense at first that's okay and again if you need a cushion under your butt please use one this helps to improve our balance our knees hips low back and now come back onto the top of your feet and onto the balls of your feet up and down here tops of the feet and to the balls of your feet, creating a nice bit of mobility in your feet, lubricating your knee joints. Now, top of the feet, come all the way up into a tall kneel, tops of the feet on the ground, and lean into your left leg and lift your right off the ground just a little bit. Try and keep your knees toward each other. Enjoy the wobbles. 
Seek the instability. Wobbling is good. Put the right knee down. Lean into the right. And lift your left off the ground. Really gentle action. Really small movement. Challenging for them, the stability. Find the wobbles. Really, really good. This can help strengthen your ligaments and your tendons. Come back to tall kneel. Lean onto the left, lift the right, and slowly move your right leg forward to come up in front, and then slowly take it back. Again, find the wobbles, find the instability. Knee back, lean to the right side, slowly move your left leg out in front and place it down. Find the stability here, and then lift and go back can be very challenging at first. Enjoy the slowness. Now notice the difference as you move quickly. Extend the opposite arm as you reach. We're just gonna go side to side here. Notice how when we move a little bit quicker, it's easier to make this action happen. Go off to the side, switch the placement of your feet to change the trajectory of the stretch. It just changes your mobility. And if you can go all the way to perpendicular, fantastic. Just go at your own pace, your own speed, reach an arm. Beautiful. Come back to tall kneel. Rock a little bit side to side. Lift and reach the right leg forward. Step up with your left and step back with your left go back with your right back to tall kneel opposite side left leg reaches forward right leg comes up so you come to standing step back with the right and back with the left we're going to go side to side here this is how we get off the ground without using our hands you might need to use your hands at first, and that's okay. As we're going side to side, we're getting to standing. So reach the left, follow with the right. Step back with the right, and down. Tall kneel. Reach with the right forward, step up with your left. Standing position, reach back with the left, back with the right. Here we go, left comes forward. Right comes to match it. Standing position. And bring your hands to your belly and gently breathe. We've gotten from our back to seated, seated to standing. Nourish your energy. Thank yourself for your practice.